Hi, it's Adam back from the Rubik's Cube, and finally, I have my contest results. Alright, so, if you didn't know, uh, recently I've had a lot less time to make videos, and that is just the one reason why the contest results have not come out. I know you're probably tired of hearing that kind of stuff, so I'm just not going to talk about it and we'll move on to the important stuff. First, I'm just going to go over some honorable mentions because there were a lot of really good entries and I had over a hundred uh, entries and I was really excited. So we're just going to go over a few that I thought were pretty good, but didn't end up making the final five cut. So Flow Cubers and Spidey both said to make a montage of zero to 500 subscribers. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty good idea, it just didn't make it to the final five. The next honorable mention comes from Origami Katakana, I'm pretty sure, um, and he said to make a sticker mod with one hand, and then the other hand solve a cube. And I thought that was a really good idea, except it's pretty much impossible. Um, and it would be fun to try maybe, um, but I don't really have the supplies to do it right now, and a sticker mod with one hand would be very difficult and kind of dangerous because I'm using a knife, so I thought that was a little bit unsafe. But other than that, it was a really good idea, so maybe I'll try it in the future. The last honorable mention comes from Julian Bonatis, I believe. And um, so she suggested a few things. Um, one of them was to paint my toenails and keep them painted for a week. Eat licorice and have a public protest about something stupid. Um, that was definitely very interesting, and that was almost number five, I have to say. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I thought it was just very funny. So something that ended up uh, coming up a lot was multiple people asked me to make a tutorial on how to make sticker mods. Like, they wanted to get into sticker modding, but they weren't sure how to start. So that's something I've actually been planning uh, by myself, so I didn't include those entries. Um, but... Yes, all of you guys uh, will be able to get that video, so in a way, I guess you kind of won. I apologize that I didn't announce that before, so you kind of wasted your entry. Um, but you'll have another opportunity very soon at 1,000, so. Alright, let's start with the top five. Coming in at number five is Ethan's Box. And I thought he had a really funny idea. Nobody suggested a skit other than him. And that was one of the reasons why he made it onto the top five, because it was unique. And he suggested to make a skit where I wake up one day and all my cubes are gone and I have to go on a quest to find them. So, um, in this video, you can vote, you can type into the comments, vote five to vote for that choice. Coming in at number four is somebody whose username I can't really pronounce. Sorry about that. It's right there on the screen. And um, he had listed a bunch of things and you aren't supposed to list multiple entries. And I tried to make it fair. Um, so what I did is anybody who did multiple entries, I just took the first one that they did. And luckily, my favorite idea was his first one. And his first idea was to do an average of 100 on a Rubik's brand. So that is number four. So type in the comments, vote four, if you want me to do that for my Father's subscriber special. I thought it would be interesting to see how, um, how it really affects my times, having a really good cube versus a really bad cube. Coming in at number three are three people. Mo Cuber, Matt one 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 five ones, and Megan Cummings. And they all suggested for me to do a, um, a relay of all of my puzzles in my whole collection. Uh, of course, I'm going to exclude a few ones. Um, but I thought that was a really difficult challenge. A few I've never solved before, uh, like the Jar of Fastigium, App Cube. App Cube, I'm going to not include if I do that though um, because you know the deal with that one but yes so in the comments down below uh, write vote three if you want that to be my final subscriber special so here's where the prizes are um, so coming in at number two and winning the $12 gift card to the cubicle is Spear Legs Cricket 123 um, he made a really good suggestion that I liked that was to have sort of like an incentive where I have to do five solves and if I don't reach a certain goal I have to punch myself in some way, um, but if I do reach it, I get something good. So um, if that does end up being the winner, uh, you guys will have to suggest what I have to do for the bad and the good. Um, so if you want that, um, 
just write in the comments down below, vote two, and then have a good and a bad. So if for rewarding myself, if I reach my goal, you can type in what I get as a, a prize. And um, for punish myself, if I don't reach that goal, you can write in what I have to do. And of course, make it somewhat plausible. Um, but I'll choose my top two favorite if that wins, and I'll, that's what I'll do. All right, number one. The winner of the sticker mod from me is Cole Huber, and I really liked his idea. He suggested making a pyramid sticker mod and having it like a pyramid with different colored bricks on each side. And I thought it was a really creative idea. It's something I've never thought of before. Um, I had trouble designing some pyramid sticker mods, but after I read his comment, I got a whole bunch of new ideas for pyramid sticker mods that I'm going to be making. And it kind of like sparked new ideas, and I, I really like that idea. Since you suggested a sticker mod and you're winning a sticker mod, if you would like to, you can win the sticker mod you suggested. I'll make it and send it to you. So, um, you have to email me, as well as uh, SpearLikesCricket123, and I'll have my email down in the description, and I'll let you guys know what you have to do in order to claim your prizes and everything. You have one week to reply, or I'll choose new winners. Of course, that's normally how the competitions work out. All right, so I'm really happy that I finally got this out, and thank you guys again for 500. I'm now at over 800, uh, uh, almost at 850, which is really crazy growth. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a 1,000 subscriber special because it's so soon compared to this 500 subscriber special. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to set out the 500 su subscriber video special before I get to 1,000. So what I'll probably do is just play it by ear. If I hit a thousand a lot later, then I'll just have a thousand subscriber special. Uh, if not, I'll wait till a thousand five hundred, a thousand two hundred fifty, something like that, somewhere in between. Or I'll just make a one thousand subscriber contest after one thousand and call it a thousand subscriber special. I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to be able to do, but um, we'll see how that works out. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.